Hello. Hello, Leos. We're going to do a read for you and your person. Um, sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Um, we're going to call in the higher self of Leo, higher self of me, ancestors, guides, and much gratitude for giving us a clear guided message for Leo and their person. If you would like a personal read, my information is down below in the description box. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your presence, Leos and Leo watchers. I don't know. You deserve love, Leo. That one really wanted to be picked. You are lovable. Aries got that one too. Express your love. Some of you guys might have... Uh, in, uh, if you if your love interest is in Aries, check out that read. <laughs> anyway. Stay optimistic about your love life and getting to know each other. This feels like the counterpart of Aries. It really does. So if you have someone with Aries in your chart, you might want to check out... Someone with Aries in their chart, you might want to check out the Aries read because... Might just be the energy of the day that there's this beautiful love coming around. You deserve love. Um, express your love. Um, their person needs to stay optimistic, positive thinking, and you guys are getting to know each other. So this could be a good, um, this might be a new relationship, okay? If this is a rekindling, you guys are getting to know each other on a deeper level with a lot of positivity, a lot of expression, and a lot of knowing that you deserve love, that you are love, okay? Okay. You feel like there's a new beginning with this person. Again, the fool can represent Aries. It can also represent Aquarius. Um, Aries is just really standing out. But it doesn't have to be, guys. It does not have to be. Um, the energy of Aries is somebody who's just like really, really fiery, um, really fun, aggressive. I mean, Aries are like some of the most spiritual people I know. Um, okay, so... Some of the most smart, I don't even, they're the smartest people I know too. Interesting. Just a side. Just thinking all the areas I know, they are very smart. All right, so there's a new beginning and your person's feeling like they're getting over some kind of loss or some kind of grief, okay? They're no longer grieving. There's like a new beginning between you and this person. It really, really looks like that. It looks like you're kind of willing to kind of say oh, how you feel with them too. Okay. This person sees you as letting go of a lot of burdens. And yeah. This person's perceiving you kind of how you feel. You feel like just jumping off the cliff, um, expressing yourself and going for love. You feel like you deserve love. You feel like you can express love. You're just in this energy and this person sees you as like, you drop in all the struggle. You're letting go of all the struggle, all the juggling, all the resistance, right? Um, and you're just going for it. There's a lot of freedom in your energy right now. Freedom to express yourself, freedom to experience love. <laughs> your person. It's funny. It really does feel like the Aries. Because like in the Aries reading, the Aries is like going through all this healing and the Aries person's just ready to go. Like ready to, like there's no attachments or expectations, but they're just ready to be there for Aries when Aries comes out of the clouds there. So I don't know. This is so interesting. But I don't know if it's the same. But check it out if you feel like it resonates. So we have the five of swords in how you see them. I mean, I feel like, you, you you know, this person's been grieving and kind of, they're getting over their grief. They're letting things go. You know, they're getting kind of like ready like, to, to start something new. You know, they're working on getting over like kind of negativity or fears. Um, but you feel like this person puts up a fight a little bit. Okay, like a little bit of a fight. Like you got your arrow pointed at them and like, hello, you're lovable. And this person's sort of fighting it. Person just has a little bit of like, well, I mean, in truth, this person's really healing and trying to let go of a lot of pain. Could be between the two of you guys and you're having a new beginning or it could just be a new relationship. And so you kind of feel like they're holding back or putting up a fight. Um, 
Your energy also is like <laughs> in this place where your heart's wide open. And you're in this place where you're, you know, it's like when you, when you just feel like you're so full of love, like it doesn't have to be a particular person that you offer it to. Like, like you're just sort of in love with love. Like you love everybody, you love everything. Like your heart's open. There's nothing to block you. There's no resistance to, to the love that you already are, right? Because you're not even looking at this person. So if they're putting up a wall, um, you're just like, okay, well, I'm still jumping off the cliff. I'm still gonna it just endlessly fall in love with love. Cool. Okay, hanged man in reverse. Yeah, you're not stuck. You're not trying to figure out anything. There's no resistance. Your perspective's pretty clear. I like this energy, Leo. I mean, I really, really, really like this energy for you. Okay. Again, this person's healing. This person's getting over abandonment issues, loss. You know, they're getting out of this poor me. This person might have gone through something pretty intense, actually. The five of cups in reverse and the five of pentacles. And the Five of Swords. A lot of change in this person's life. They are changing for the better. They're working on positive thinking, quote unquote, raising their vibration. Okay. Uh, you're like on fire here. So you kind of have this energy of like, <laughs> if I move towards this person, I'm going to be successful. I will have victory. There's victory here. There's victory in bathing and basking in love. In clarity, in truth, right? You're you're like in truth. You're in, like literally in love. Okay, and this person with the star is in this place of healing. I do feel like this person heals, and you guys, if you want this person, you got them. I, I I mean, that's how you, that's what you're manifesting. Like I feel like Leo, you're saying, if I want this, I've got this. And this person does kind of heal. This person is healing. This person is healing from a lot of pain. You know, I feel like you might see them kind of surrendering. You know, abandonment wounds, guilt and shame, those kinds of things. It's possible that if this is a long-term relationship, if they've done you wrong, you've let it go. You've let it go. You're just sort of in this place of forgiveness and love and gratitude and Kind of bliss here. It's as if anybody who would come around you would heal. They would be in your vibration. Like your vibration can't be broke right now, it looks like to me. You know, I don't think this person could come and lower your vibration at this point. And they're also working on raising their vibration. Okay. Um, you're very healing to this person, Leo. Very, very healing. And you're in a very, very confident place. Cool. So I'm going to just say, we're just going to start to clarify these. So why is the fool in your feelings? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're feeling pretty fearless. Free spirit, risk taker. It, it, I kind of feel like you're. You can open up your heart to this person. Um, you can love them completely, fearlessly, fearlessly love this person. You can express it. There's nothing stopping you. There's nothing stopping you. Um. If this person didn't respond in a positive way, it wouldn't stop you from still giving them love. There's like, no, it's like when your heart space is completely open, nothing can hurt you. You're already in love. No one can stop it. The illusion of protection is not around right now. I really like this energy, Leo. It's very healing. To people around you or this person wow so in their feelings why is the five of cups in reverse it's a very strong letting go energy yeah they're letting go of resistance 
They're letting go of that wounded warrior experience, you know. Um, they might have been tired. They might have been drained from what, for whatever circumstance because they have their defenses up, but they are learning to let go of that resistance, to stay optimistic, to get out of negativity, to get out of old patterns and cycles, either between the two of you or in, in from their past, right? They're just healing, you know, and you know they have their defenses up. You know they've been fighting. You know, for it just really comes out as a spiritual warfare, you know, at this point. Whether it's been between the two of you or from their past. That's really cool. Okay, so two of pentacles in reverse and the eight of coins upright. So they do see you as achieving your goals, being very dedicated. Um, I don't know, it's really good. It's really, really good. So they want to build, you, you know that they are capable and willing to, and dedicated, I want to say dedicated to spirit, dedicated to love. Okay, so we have page of swords upright, clarifying how you see them. Okay. So they are curious about you. Um, they are really charming, um, very chatty. And, you know, simply put, you know, they might not be completely defensive towards you. Um, they are trying to open up their heart. They really are trying to heal. But what it looks like is they're really, they're, they're, they're fun to talk to you. Like they like to kind of banter and fight in like, in a curious way, in a clever, chatty way. Okay. Like, their personality is kind of coming out. I think you like that about them. It looks like it. Oh, there you go again. Whew. Leo, you're in such a beautiful energy. A lot of innocence. There's just not a lot of burdens on you. New beginnings, leap of faith. Like you believe in love. I feel like you believe in this person at the same time the attachment's not there it's really sweet okay so this person um is really they really do feel like your energy and you being in their life is very good very bright very positive it's inspiring them it's getting it's like they're letting go of old wounds and they're very getting very excited about your energy, okay? If they're not telling you this, I think you don't care. <laughs> I just don't think you care. I think you already know where to find love, what love is, how to connect with love, manifesting love. Like you're very in that. But they're excited about you, very excited about you. You're like, you're like, it's like you're spreading the good news that we're already free, that we're already love, you know, kind of that energy. And they feel really, really good about it. And they feel really, really good about you. Uh-oh. That went right through the cracks. So let's just get a little look here. Uh, Ace of Swords is like so my favorite card. Well, one of my favorite cards. This is like you... <laughs> Victoria, like you got the six of wands, clarified by the ace of swords. This is like, this is a soulmate. Like this person's aligning with your soul. This is a very, like if you move towards this person, you will have 100% victory. If you're concerned, like this spread is just saying victory here. You're healing the situation. It's like you've moved away resistance, negative thought forms, entities, whatever you want to call it, that would get between you and this person, you and a soulmate, you and your soul, and it manifests. There's a lot of healing for this person, and a coming to a victorious coming together is really what I'm getting. A breakthrough. And this person feels, yeah, this person's the queen of coins so very very successful very mature very nurturing very steady very able to receive very able to give um it's a really beautiful 
This is a really, really beautiful, you know, relationship. What does this person want from you, Leo? They want to move towards you. They want to move towards you. They do want to heal old wounds. They're still trying to heal old wounds. And... This feels really spiritual. They're still in this process of healing, but they're not going anywhere. They're a bit defensive. They're not quite ready to grow, but like um, grow this relationship. Um, like they're almost not ready to work on a relationship, I guess. Um, until, but they do want to move towards you and they want to move towards love. Interesting. Let's see what you want. You want to strengthen bonds. You want to build a strong foundation for the two of you and for yourself. Move out of illusion and a new beginning. So there's a lot of two ones. You really want this new beginning with this person. Um... For some of you, this person is somebody that you're like healing. Maybe that you're getting to know and they're healing. What does this person want to say? Boundaries have been enforced, cut off. I don't think they're cutting you off. What does this person want to say? Too much drama. What does this person want to say? I just not, I'm not getting these cards as like correct, but take what resonates. Don't leave. Okay. So this person is cutting off. I think they're getting over their story and the dramas in their life. Okay, some wounds in the past. They're like, they're not in this energy of building quite yet. They're in this energy of releasing. Cutting off things, cutting off drama, cutting off stories that don't serve them. So they don't want you to go anywhere. They, they love you around. They really like having you around. I, I guess like love's not the right word. It's more like... You've got all this love to give. Um, and they love it. It's very healing for them. But they're like still working on cutting off like and releasing grief and abandonment. This person has a lot of abandonment wounds, which has caused a lot of drama in their life. Um, but they're, they're not going anywhere. And they... They, they don't want you to, like, be, they don't want you to go. Like, they don't want you to go anywhere. They like you being around, is what I'm getting. Let's get some energy from them. I know, Aquarian energy. I really like that. Hmm. What else? Wow, a lot of air. This could be an air sign, this person. So they're learning to, they're communicating with you. Like this person, it looks like they're able to communicate with you clearly as to where they're at. I feel like you guys have a strong bond together. You're getting to know each other, either on a different level. Yeah, they're healing trauma wounds in their body. Like their body's opening up. They're, they're working on receiving more light. They're working on like, shifting and cleansing and, and they know they're doing this and they're communicating this to you or they will be but they're healing you know um so the, i don't i don't see them like having what it takes to like really build you know i don't know though i don't really see 
Again, there's not like a lot of, for a lot of you, this is something new. For a lot of you, this is something new. For others of you, you guys aren't focusing on like love and emotion. You're like focusing on healing um, to open, and this person's focusing on like healing to open up their heart and experience love again. And all you're doing is like reminding them of this love, you know, the love that they are and they're, they're healing. Um, They're healing. I just, what else do I want to say? Let's see. Soul gifts and training is time to step up. Some of you, I feel like you have a spiritual relationship with this person and then they're almost like a, like a student of yours, you know? And that this isn't a love relationship. It could possibly be one. And like, you know how to heal this person or that... You've been, you're like a free spirit teaching this person the freedom in connection, in love, in being with spirit. I don't know. There's a little bit of that. Could be a little bit of a student teacher thing here. Because um, there's this training. It's an interesting connection. Let me know what resonates. Because I'm still, I'm not getting a ton of hearts. I'm, t I'm just getting a lot of spirituality and freedom. Although I'm getting you deserve love. It's as if you're telling this person you deserve love. And they're receiving it. And they're healing. <laughs> and you're just expressing more and more love to them. Giving them more and more love. More and more affirmations. Helping them open up their heart. Inspiring them. Training them. Helping them step up into the love that they are. <laughs> And we got We the Huthers, deep love. Mother's milk birth is a portal. It's like a rebirth for this person. I feel like you've already done this. Okay. Let me just get one other message from the cards. Um, okay. How do you feel about this person? Making plans, getting organized. Okay. All self is being projected to the outside world. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like there's an intense connection between the two of you. Um, so... person's healing again there's there's an intense connection between the two of you um I don't see you you're not going to move towards this person until the time is right but I feel like the communication is pretty strong any advice for any advice for, for Leo? Okay, so for some of you, um, for some of you, this could be a soulmate, okay? Whether this person's like, you guys have been going through a process of healing and awakening due to your connection together. Because I have the Six of Cups in reverse and the Devil. And this is advice for you. Um, I do see that you've done a lot of like removing of veils, removing of masks, freeing yourself from the intensity of the connection um, or the intensity of your attachment to the world and, and then being not of the world, right? And um, and the freedom and the beauty in that, moving out of the illusion. Um, I feel like it's like just be careful. Um, you don't have to like don't don't lose this energy. Um, I love your confidence here, and you're moving in truth. So I don't even feel like I'm telling you anything that you don't already know. But there was a strong attachment for some of you to this person. Um, that brought up 
childhood issues from the past, okay, and has taught you to release a lot of things that don't serve the love that you already are. This this relationship somehow, this connection has has like brought you into a place of freedom, like free spiritedness and liberation in a sense from 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 vices, temptations, manipulations. Um this person um communicates with you very well. They're still healing. And um one more card for advice, please. Oops. So this person might still challenge Um, this person might still be challenged with this energy because there's still healing to do. Um, and they might, it might take them time is all I'm saying. It might take them time to, basically my advice to you, Leo, is you're in such good energy. There is no take your time you know stay in that vibration don't have a particular preference for a particular kind of person you are going to manifest love in the energy that you are in you are going to manifest a new beginning strengthening bonds new vitality um there might be like a little residual energy of like the memory of like childhood wounds you know, coming up in relationship, but you're really kind of moving, you're moving beyond it. But this does show up in this relationship. They are healing. You are healing. It's, it's just, it's really good. It's really, really good. But these things might come up. That's all I'm saying. So, Leo, let me know if this resonates. I appreciate you for showing up and take care.